Hello guys, welcome again. In this video, I'm going to explain how to write Verilog code for full adder uh, in structural model. Uh, so uh, let me give you a brief recap of how full adder would be so that in remaining models, I no need to get back to this. So this is how full adder looks like. So this is the true table of full adder, all possible eight combinations. Uh, 0, 0, 0, 2, 3, 1. Now the expressions for sum and carry if you write k map so you will get uh, sum as a x or b x or c and for carry you will get a b plus b c plus c a or a c okay and you also can design from this uh, this is used uh, for instantiation which I am going to explain uh, soon uh, in the next uh, coming videos. So this is uh, uh, using instantiation so that you can look here this red dotted part is can be modeled as one half adder and this another dotted part can be modeled as a uh, second half adder and the total uh, will be uh, using uh, full adder design can be done using two half adders but for time being let us not go to that let us uh, strictly rely on this structural model and this is how the carry expression would be see you think you are seeing like right, this uh, red circled part and for some oh, we are going to use this okay. Uh, okay those things let me undo those those two but uh, i think you know you know those things okay now uh, writing right away the code as i have i have already written here okay now if you see here uh, i gave the name module name as full underscore structural because this is structural level of coding and here itself i declared for a change just for a change here itself i declared but here also you can write as input and output below this you can uh, give like this uh, input uh, all those things but uh, for a small change i written here so sum and carry not are the outputs and my inputs are a b c okay now if you look here the intermediate connections here uh, there is one intermediate connection here and uh, one more intermediate uh, connection uh, this connection and these connections so all these intermediate connections will be declared as wires okay last it's always preferred to write uh, it's always suggested to write these wire connections at last so that you will know what are the wire connections that you are declaring for time being you assume that first xor gate g1 i named it as so the input of this xor gate directly i have given mm, a b c okay directly i have given a b c that means i am writing directly the expression for sum here the expression for sum I am writing directly as AX or BX or C. This 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 term I am writing directly for sum AX or BX or C. But for carry as I am designing using this instead of writing this uh, bulky logic I am I am try to optimize the circuit by designing here uh, from itself. Now for this end gate you want this connection which is the output of this XOR gate. So I am writing one more XOR gate, this XOR G2, where the inputs are A and B and my output is K. That means this is my K here. See, I am writing here. This is my K, this part. Now, K and this C are given as input to this AND gate. So for AND gate, K and C are given as inputs. Okay. Now one more thing, uh, from, from this first AND gate, this is taken as T. Okay. And this is taken as one more T. So T1 and T2. These two are T1 and T2. Now for that AND gate, the inputs are A and B. Okay. For the final OR gate, these two, this T1 and T2, these T1 and T2 are given as inputs and output is taken as carry out C0. So as this is structural model, you should write the structure of the design that you are going to simulate or synthesize. So once again, you check with the diagram and you try to draw the diagram on your own and you check here. This is for direct sum and to get this carry out these intermediate wires and all I have written this three other gates. So this is how you can write a structural model for full adder. Let me write the test bench also as I have already written. Let me show you. So if you add a new Verilog test fixture, then these things will be given directly. I explained about these things in the half adder structural model. You can refer those why you are, why you are getting these dot notations and why reg to these things and why declaration to these. You can refer that. Now here in the test bench, you have to check all the possible input combinations. That is, that is from triple zero to triple one. And this operator is called as concatenation operator, which means you will get all these bits combined as single thing. So concatenation of A, B, C, where A, B, C are individually declared as 0, 0, 0. So concatenation of these three will give me a 3 tick B, 0, 0, 0. Now after 
each two nanoseconds i am changing the things uh, and testing all possible input combinations and this dollar monitor is used to display the waveforms uh, whenever these values change you will it will be monitored and display you the values and after 20 nanoseconds of time step or 20 time steps which is uh, one nanoseconds each in the time directive you can see here it's one nanosecond so after 20 nanoseconds the uh, this checking will be stopped and you will get the get back uh, you will return back to this window so now let us check how the uh, model would be uh, let us verify whether it's true or not the true table is true or not for these values you have to check the syntax uh, as i already checked the syntax i am directly uh, running the behavioral model so i will get the waveforms here okay here you can see all possible combinations if 0 0 0 my sum and carry are 0 let me check randomly here uh, if 0 0 1 my sum is 1 and carry is 0 so if all are ones okay if all are ones my sum is 1 and carry is 1 you can check for any value here all will satisfy and this is how you can write a Verilog code for full adder using structural model in the coming videos I am going to explain you how to write Verilog code in uh, for full adder in data flow as well as behavioral model then after completion of these two videos then i am going to explain how to uh, write full adder using half adder using instantiation thank you for watching that's all for this video see you in the next one